Okay, so today we're making this really fun, healthy, tasty side dish. It's white beans, braised greens, and turnips. So the first thing you wanna do is take some butter and we're gonna melt that over medium heat. And then we're gonna add in some panko breadcrumbs. And we're just gonna toss them and toast them until they're just nice and golden brown. And then go ahead and take those panko breadcrumbs out, keep them on the side, add a little bit more butter in, and now add in our diced turnip. Saute the turnip until it's just nice and seared. And then on top of that turnip, go ahead and toss in those greens. So I'm just using braising greens. I'm using kale and chard and spinach, just really, really lovely, nutritious and healthy and tasty. Add in those greens. We're just gonna cook them until they just begin to wilt. So you don't wanna cook them all the way down. You just want them to lose their structure a little bit and begin to soften. Once they do that, we're gonna add in our white beans. Toss that all around, mix the white beans, the turnips and the greens so it's all nice and tender and delicious. And then we're just gonna to top it off with those breadcrumbs that we made earlier and a little bit of Parmesan cheese. Super simple, fun, healthy, and delicious side dish. There you go, simple as that. So one little pro tip before I go, storing greens is really easy. It's actually a lot easier than people think, but they go bad so easily in the fridge. So here's what you wanna do. When you bring that bag home or that clamshell, whatever container it is that you have those greens in, you wanna line it with paper towels. Once again, moisture is the enemy in the refrigerator and greens are especially sensitive. So if you line that clamshell or the bag with paper towels and then put it in the fridge, those greens will probably last two to three times longer. I've had spinach keep fresh for weeks that way. Just a little bit of a pro tip there. So if you like this recipe, hey, give me a thumbs up. If there's something that you wanna see, just drop a comment down below. And if you'd like to cook like I do, I release new videos every single week. So please subscribe.